Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a working TV house. I feel as though that I should show you this first before actually showing you how to make it. So, this is basically an old-fashioned tube TV. Before TVs were like the thickness of paper, we had big, giant TVs. So, that's the premise of this thing. And inside of this, I've created a nice little scene with living animals that make it look as though the TV is working. There should also be a villager in there as well. I'm a little disturbed that he might have gotten out and he might be actually seeking vengeance on me for trapping him in a TV. But you can access the TV through the lake. You can just climb up it just as I have done there. And you can get inside of this nice little artistic scene. It's very colourful in here. We have a pig. We have a chicken. We have some water. We have a nice little house. But here's the thing. You might not think the house is real until you walk into it. And here he is looking very menacing at the foot. You know what? Maybe he's just admiring the picture and he doesn't want to kill me. I hope that's the case. But inside here, you can see that we actually have a nice hidden functional house hidden inside of a TV inside a fake house. I, I don't think you can get too much more inception-y than that. But that's the house, guys. I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. It really helps me out. And I will also link a few more, like, wacky house ideas in the card system and the description below, just in case you guys want to check those out. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make this thing. So before we get things started, I should let you know that this house will fit into a 21 by 21 block area. You don't really need much more room than this, unless you want to alter the house in any way, shape or form. We will also need all of the materials that you can see in my inventory right now. You can see there's quite a lot of them, so make sure you got them all. Pause the video if you have to, grab them all, and then we're going to start off by grabbing this top row. Now that we have this top row, now we know where we want to make it, we're going to kick this off by placing a row of three grey concrete coming up from the ground. So that's going to be one, two, and three. We're going to place a red concrete in front of that third grey block. We're then going to do two upper left diagonals using the red. One, two. We're then going to go up by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're then going to do two upper right diagonals, one, two, we're then going to go right by 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We're then going to do two bottom right diagonals, which will be one and two. We then want to go down by nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to do two bottom left diagonals, one, two and two and from that second bottom left diagonal we want to connect all the way back to where we very first started and there you will see we will actually have the outline of the screen if you like you can also place a row of gray concrete starting from the opposite side of the bottom of the tv so from this block you can place gray concrete and you can connect that down to the ground to make the opposite leg of the front of your tv now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take the red outline that we've created for the TV and we want to extend that red outline backwards by 12 rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you want to do that with every single red block. That's going to take a little while. You're also going to want to extend behind the legs also. So where you have like the top of the legs, you just want to move through the grey concrete and you want to place the red concrete. It's quite a tedious process this and this isn't even as far as we are going to go back. We're actually going to extend back even further. The way that the TV works is that the house in the back of the TV is kind of like compartmentalized. It's hidden away. It's like a hidden room. So 
We're making what is going to be like the scene on TV. We're going to have the house, we're going to have the nice field, the light, and then behind that, concealed away, will be the space where we're going to be keeping all of our nice little housey bits. So, we're just going to crack on with this. As, uh, as I said, we'll extend all of these blocks backwards, and then we will refine the screen a little bit, because the screen itself is not just meant to be like a thin line of red. We want to have like a nice, uh, we want to like double up on the shape on the, uh, for the front of the screen, and then we might even, we'll probably fit the glass last, actually, but, uh, yeah, we're just making the space basically now. We're just making the space that will al allow us to, uh, to actually have a nice little fairy tale. It, uh, it'd actually be kind of cool. I wanted to say this at the start of the video before, uh, before I even started placing blocks. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if you guys made your own custom TV. Like, obviously, you guys can use, like, the TV itself as kind of, like, uh, like a template, but if you guys like had your own little scenes hidden away in the TV, like if you had your own little sort of like environments where and your own houses and stuff inside the TV, it'd actually be kind of cool to have something a bit different. So, I don't know, just food for thought. You could have like, I don't know, you could have sort of like, uh, I don't know. You could have literally anything, like you could uh, have like a desert environment inside the house, or you could have a jungle environment, or you could maybe try and copy something from like a movie or something like, I don't know, you could have like an, like a little Avengers scene, or like in the, in the actual TV, you could literally do anything, like your imagination could kind of just go absolutely crazy, but you know, those are just ideas, you guys do what you want to do, I absolutely wouldn't I, I would not put you off doing what I'm doing because it does look really nice and it's really colourful and uh, it's also really easy to place as well. But we are getting to the point now where we are going to be just about finished, I do believe. There we go. So that is what we want to have so far, right? So that is the TV. Let's make the front of the TV a little bit more distinguished. So you want to take the front of your TV and you want to add a layer of red concrete inside of the front of the TV. So going all the way around the inside of the outline of the TV, like this, you just want to add an additional layer of red concrete. And this is going to separate it from the back of the TV. To finish off this effect, we are going to place an additional red concrete in each one of the four corners of the front of your TV. And this will give it a very nice effect like this. So now you can see it's very rounded, it's very aesthetically pleasing. On the top of the TV, we also want to have like those antennae, those rabbit ears, whatever you want to call them. The easiest way to find them is to find the middle of your TV, right? It sounds hard, but if you come to the top of your TV and you find the middle block, you should be able to kind of just eyeball it. Like, I'm pretty sure that this is the middle of mine, right? So, I found the middle, I think, and I'm going to move backwards by like one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Four will do. And I want to count left from this block. First, um, I'll, I'll mark the block out with like a light blue concrete, right? And then I want to leave a gap of two going left. So that's like a gap of two going left. And I want to place a gray concrete. From that gray concrete, I want to do three up left diagonals. One, two, three. And I'm going to go up, left, down. Just like that. So that's one antenna. And then if I come back to the light blue concrete and I want to leave a gap of two going right, so one, two, then I'm going to place a gray concrete and I'm going to do three up right diagonals. One, two, three. I'm going to go up, right, down. And I'll destroy that original light blue. And I do believe that those are centered. Yeah, I, I did a pretty good job at just like guessing where um, the middle of the TV is. I think. I mean, I can't tell whether I'm like one block over. But I mean, it looks good enough to me. It looks, it looks just about right. So, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to set the scene a little bit inside the TV. So, first of all, we're just going to place a layer of grass inside of the TV. So we're just going to place a layer of grass at the base of the TV. This is going to be the base. Most of the inside of this is grass 
um, anyway, so we're not going to have to delete too many blocks out of this because we will be editing this a little bit as well. So once we place the grass, we'll add like some stones and stuff. You can even add in more detail if you like. You could add in perhaps like some grass path or something. But I've kept this pretty simple. Uh, I don't know whether I'll change things a little bit as we move on. I don't know whether I'll be like, oh, let's add some, you know, something to make it a bit more interesting or whatever. But um, this is kind of like what we're going with now. Um, this will this will look pretty decent. So we've just got a couple more rows of grass to do. We've just got one more after this, and we should end up with something that should look exactly like that. We're also going to add a layer of grass. Um, we're actually going to add a layer of grass coming from, you know where this pointy bit is on, on, on the TV? Like, you know those four additional blocks that we placed? We want to place a layer of grass coming backwards from this block here. And also the opposite side. So we want to have this sort of effect. So we want to have now something which should look like this. We're going to build up the walls on the left and no, you know what, we'll actually build up the back wall first and then we'll work off of this. So, uh, I'm going to start from the very left grass block on the back, so this left hand back grass block. I'm going to move to the right of this grass by, I don't know, let's, let's say like, maybe like, one, two, and yeah, maybe just two. And then I'm going to move towards us by two. I'm going to add a couple of diagonals going to the right towards us. I'm going to go right by two. I'm going to do like a diagonal going right moving back in. I'm going to move in one. I'm going to do like a diagonal. I'm going to extend it in and I'm going to go right. The point of this is to make like a little bit of a pool. This is where some water is going to go. So you can mess with the shape. Um, I'm also going to mark out where the house is going to be. So the house itself is going to be just to the right of this last grass block. So to the right of this last grass block that I've just placed, I'm going to uh, I'm going to need some different materials for the house. I'll need stuff like oak wood, oak wood planks, oak wood stairs, stone brick stairs, oak wood uh, oak wood slabs. I'll also need stone brick slabs and perhaps some torches and item frames, that sort of stuff, and maybe even a door. And I'm going to place an oak wood plank next to that. I'm going to extend that plank forwards by two, one two, and then I'm going to place an oak wood. I'm going to go up on top of that oak wood by two, one, two. I'm going to do two upper right diagonals, one, two, and then two bottom right, one, two. I'm going to connect that down. I'm going to chuck a door in the very bottom middle of this, and I'm going to place oak wood planks all the way around the inside of the door. I'm going to place torches here and here, and I'm going to place item frames within them, like that, or the torches are within the item frames, actually. And I'm also just going to build up the side walls of the house as well, just like this. And uh, this is uh, just so that these they will connect to where the false wall is going to be. I haven't decided whether the false wall is going to like be here, like where the back of the house is, or whether it's going to be further, um, just one block back. Uh, I'm going to then just place a roof on this. So I'm going to place a row of stone brick stairs on the sides of uh, sides of the walls, like this. And the middle of the roof is going to be made out of oak wood stairs. This is a very normal standard roof, like so. The top of this is going to be stone brick slabs. And then there's going to be stone brick stairs on the opposite side, with oak wood stairs running up the sides as well, like that. We're going to have stone brick stairs extending out of the front of the roof with a stone brick slab at the top as well. More stone brick stairs coming down the sides. We're going to place upside down stone brick stairs underneath that. And that will actually do for the house. It, it's a very simple design, guys. It doesn't have to be like incredibly detailed. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to make it so that the uh, like the hidden part of the wall is going to uh, just sit behind um, like the grass and everything. So here's how we're going to make this. I'm going to chuck these materials away. So the false wall is going to be made out of like light blue concrete, yellow concrete, green concrete, lime, brown concrete, white concrete. Um, we're also going to need like a little bit of glowstone. We'll also need some jungle leaves to spruce things up and we might even need a little bit of stone. 
So, I'm going to begin by placing behind the grass at the bottom of the back of this build, I'm going to place a couple of rows of green. I'm just going to place a couple of rows of actual green concrete coming up. Just like this, covering in any empty space that we may have. And then, from here, we're going to make this a bit bumpy. So we're going to add, for instance, like we're going to add some more green hills and stuff on top of what we've just made. So we have some, like, bumpy parts using the green concrete. It doesn't want to be 100% specific. You just want to add, like, a couple of green big hills like that. And I might actually make this one a bit peakier in that I might take the uh, three middle blocks and I'm going to raise them up and I'm going to chop this down to make like a more uniform shape because the water is actually going to be flowing um, from this. Uh, I'm actually going to place the water now. I'm gonna, I, I want this to kind of like be like a little pseudo waterfall like this and I'm just going to uh, make this so it's still. That would actually also be a cool entrance into the back of the house. And what will go above here, like, if we then place, like, rows and rows of light blue concrete, you don't necessarily have to do it for the inside of the house part, because that is going to be hollow. But, like, above the green, we're going to place rows and rows and rows of light blue concrete. And these are, of course, going to be sky. So, where we have, like, the green concrete, that is, of course, supposed to, like, represent grass or hills or blah, blah, blah. Um, the blue is, of course, sky. And we are going to, once we've placed the blue, we're going to be adding stuff in, like, clouds. And uh, on the top of this, we'll actually be adding in the sun. So um, we're just going to fill this up using the blue. And then we'll look at it from the opposite side, from like the front of the house, looking towards the back. And we'll see what we're dealing with. So now you can see that we have kind of like a little bit of a scene going. And uh, to make this look a little bit nicer, we're going to add in some clouds. So you know what Minecraft clouds look like. They're like nice and boxy like that, right? So, you know, just add in a couple of clouds that look a little bit like that. You might only need, like, one on the left. And on the right, I'm actually going to place, like, the sun, like a cartoon version of the sun. So, like, if we start off with, like, a 3 by 3 yellow box in the top right-hand corner of the back, and then we just knock some of this away. So maybe like these blocks here in the corner. We replace that with white. So that'll be a cloud. And then we'll destroy the two to the left and two underneath. So we have like a bit of a cloudy sun. I think that that actually looks all right. But you know what? We're actually missing a bit of a detail in here. We need to drop the sun down by one row. And the reason for that is um, we're going to be having, what, like, we're going to have, like, a sky above us. So I'm just going to drop that sun down by one row, just like this. So it's a little closer to the house, but it's no big deal. And uh, I'm going to just re uh, replace these blocks using uh, light blue. Um, you see, the next part, once we've done this, is we actually want to, like, place the sun at the top of the TV. So, like, if you can locate the middle of... Your, like, if you can locate the middle of your TV again, yeah? So, uh, let's let's try and figure this out. If you place the antenna earlier, the antennae, um, this is the middle block. So, let's just knock down into the TV. We know that that's the middle. Uh, now, we just have to kind of, like, find the center point between the front of the TV and the back. So, if we know... Uh, the amount of space in here, which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The middle two blocks would then be like what? So like, if it's 12, so we're going to knock 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the two middle blocks. We're going to replace those with glowstone. We're going to extend the glowstone forwards by 2, 1, 2, and then backwards by 2, one, two. We're going to add two rows to the left and right. One, two. And then on the opposite side, one, two. Then we're going to place another row on the left and right, shrinking this by one row either side, like this. Just shrinking it one row either side. And that will act kind of like the sun. If you like, you can even, like, make it a bit more of a ball shape like this. But I'm not going to recommend it. I'm just going to leave it kind of like that. 
we're going to place a yellow outline around this, like yellow concrete. So we're just going to go all the way around the outside of this using yellow concrete because this is, you know, it's supposed to be the sun. Glowstone itself isn't really very sun-like. So now we have the sun, and I'm just also going to replace the block that we destroyed at the top of here um, that we used to determine the center of the TV. I'm then going to fill the rest of the area up at the top here using light blue concrete because, of course, this is supposed to be sky. So we don't really want to have, like, a red sky. That is a little bit scary. So <laughs> uh, I, I don't really want to do that. I want a nice blue kind of ish clear sky. So we're just going to um, fill this all in using the light blue. Nothing too complicated about this. It, it, it was a little bit tricky finding where the center of the TV was, but I'm sure that you guys managed to um, managed to do that, managed to find the center of the TV. Uh, I, I guess I could have done it a little bit, you know, a little bit easier, a little bit more tactfully, but you know what? Sometimes you've just got to work things out on the fly, and uh, that's how we just did that. So um, we have now filled in the top part of the sky. We're also going to add a row of blue concrete coming backwards from the top two corner blocks at the front of the screen. So you guys might remember, yeah, where we place like those additional blocks. Please tell me that I have not covered up the sun. Oh, I've covered up the sun a little bit. You know what? That's fine. We can leave it like that. The sun can be a little bit covered up. I don't mind. You guys might want to, um, like, move your sun again to make sure that it's in the right place. We should have done this first. Um, so, yeah, there we, we have that now, right? So we've got the two corners moved back using blue concrete. We're going to add some more hills. So, on the left-hand side of our build, we're going to use green concrete again. And we're just going to place one row of green concrete connecting the front of the build to the back of the build. And then we'll place, like, some hills. So, we'll place some... Maybe maybe we'll even have it, like, follow on. So, like, um, we'll kind of have, like, this. So, kind of like, we'll have a hill here and then a hill here. We also want some clouds. So, you know, just make some, like, bog-standard clouds. You know, stuff... Uh, that you'd kind of like expect to see in Minecraft or just make up a couple of normalish looking clouds uh, Then I'm just gonna fill this particular side in using light blue concrete and then that'll look very much like the sky It'll look just fine. So we're just going to fill this in the opposite side We are going to change the status quo a little bit in that we are going to add a tree We're gonna add a pretty cool looking tree. So um, if we have a look at the left-hand side, that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. And if we have a look at the right-hand side, it's boring because there's nothing there. So, first of all, we'll begin by adding a row of green concrete. You guys know that we like adding the, like, the little rolling hills. We'll add a few bumps, kind of like coming towards the back of the build, like this. And then we'll add a tree, so we'll place, like, a row of, like, maybe from this block here. This block right here. Mm, yeah. We'll place like one, two, three brown concrete coming up. Maybe four. Yeah, four will do. Then we'll place a lime concrete on top. No, we'll, we'll place the three brown concrete. Then we'll place a lime on top. And then we'll extend that lime left and right by two. One, two, one, two. We'll add a row on top. And then we'll take the middle of this and we'll just extend it upwards. So we'll just miss a block either side like that. We'll place in the top right hand corner a uh, just a small little cloud and then we'll just simply fill the rest of this in using light blue concrete and that way we have something that looks a little bit more interesting perhaps than just like again like just clouds so we have a nice little pixel art tree hidden in here too which you know like i said it's, it's still a little bit more interesting it looks quite nice if i do say so myself uh, it's a shame that we can't see all of the sun uh, that i've made and already had to move once but you know what can you do so now we have a nice little scene going i'm going to use jungle leaves to create bushes uh, jungle leaves are the most colorful of all of the leaves hence why i'm using them and i'm just going to create uh, a couple of bushes just uh, just as you might expect to see inside of this I'm going to use stone, and I'm just going to grab some... I'm going to use the stone, and I'm just going to uh, place a couple of stones just in the ground. I don't know whether to use grass path in front of the house, 
or more stone. I'll let's try the grass path. So uh, in the original, I used stone, but you know, just a little bit of grass path like this looks kind of more interesting than just using stone. I don't know. Uh, there's also a lamp post in here that provides additional light. To make that, we need cobblestone wall, oak fence. We need. Um, we don't need torches, we need wooden trap doors, and we also need our old pal glowstone. Somewhere here on the left, maybe about here, I'm going to place a cobblestone wall, two oak fence coming up on top of it, a glowstone, and then I'm going to surround that glowstone using wooden trap doors, just like that. And that will actually light things up quite nicely. You can see, I mean, it is quite dark inside here. So, uh, some additional techniques that you may want to use inside here is you might want to perhaps, like, hide a sea lantern in the pool. Or maybe even a couple of them. Just, like, dotted around inside of the pool. Just to kind of, like, light that up a little bit. You see, I mean, it, it's getting lighter and lighter. I, I mean, I'm sure that there's more ways that you could do this. A sneaky way to do it would be like if you knocked out one of the back parts of the house and you place like a glowstone in the back. I mean, that it doesn't provide much light, but you know, it's something that you don't really see and it lights the place up a bit. I'm sure you guys might have some more ideas too. Um, to finish this off, uh, you can either use bone meal, or what I would heavily prefer is to use uh, actual flowers, which I can't seem to find. Oh, here we go. So, um, just to kind of like finish this off a little bit, uh, I'm just going to place a couple of flowers just here and about the place, you know, just to just to brighten it up. That's pretty much all this is. Can I have some? That's not some flower. Some flower there. You know, just just kind of like brighten things up a bit. You don't even have to add loads. You can just add a few just to make it look nice and uh, all we have to do from here is we have to of course seal up the screen so we're gonna seal up the screen using light gray glass um, you can use white you can use black you can use um, regular gray I like light gray because I, I I don't know I just like the combination a little bit more you don't even have to use a glass block if you don't want to. You can, of course, use paint. But um, I really what I should be doing is I should, like, extend out the glass, like, one row towards us. Because, uh, like, those old-fashioned TVs, I seem to remember, like, the glass seemed to, like, poke out a little bit. Like, it was, um, like, convexed to coming, like, coming towards you out of the TV. But, you know, I mean, you can make little alterations if you like. And as you can see, you can now see the scene inside the TV. Which is good. And um, the way that you, of course, get into the TV, um, we... Oh, we're missing a material. We're missing ladders. Not that we had room for it. The way that you get in is you just run a row of ladders leading up into the actual... Uh, into the actual scene itself like you just run a row of ladders you just destroy whatever blocks you have to you can climb up into the actual tv itself so that might mean uh, as you can see here like perhaps like placing in another block or so and then you can get in and out but when you go into the house you're gonna notice that there's nothing here that's because we have to make the rest of the actual physical tv so it's up to you how wide you want your TV to be. So my TV, right here, you can see that we've we've not got a massive amount of room if we want to stay within the confines of this. If you want an absolutely huge house in the back of your TV, make it bigger than this. But I'm going to extend my TV backwards and just the red concrete part by eight rows. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is all I'm going to do. I'm going to have eight rows of red concrete coming backwards out of the back of the TV. And that is going to do me. But if you want to have an absolutely huge, like, ball in mansion or something back here, then I would, of course, uh, recommend that you place a lot more rows so uh yeah it's um it's going to be pretty cool once it's all done i'm not going to show you guys how to make a house inside of this because you guys might not even care about having like an actual functional house but i will of course um show you the space after we've made this i'll show you uh if you want to tidy it up a little bit how you might do so but uh, i'm not going to go through the uh go through all of the turmoil of adding in like um furnishings and stuff but um you can see you can have i actually shrank mine um in the original like um this this tv is actually like the same dimensions 
as uh, the one that I showed you at the start of the video. It's the exact same dimensions. And I uh, actually shrank the house portion of it a little bit. Um, just to make it a little bit less, uh, you know, a little bit more manageable. But you, you have a pretty decent area back here, and I'm, I'm guessing that you might not want to have, like, a full-time base hidden away inside of something like this. I don't know, maybe you do. I... I, I don't know, but <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of like up to you uh, to decide. But um, yeah, it's it, it's a pretty awesome. I think it's pretty like a pretty original idea for uh, for a build. I actually made uh, made one of these and uh, made a showcase of this quite a while ago, and I never made a tutorial for it because um, there is quite a bit of hassle in actually like making this. But uh, you guys actually really seem to like the showcase that I made for this quite a while ago. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, once you've extended back all of the rows, um, we're just going to fill the back of it in using red concrete. So, all of this is going to be filled in with red concrete. We'll then add legs on the back of the TV because, of course, the TV would have more than, uh, than two legs. It'd have four to balance itself. Unless it was balancing itself on two, which would be a little bit... You know, I guess it's kind of acrobatic for it, but, you know, it probably uh, doesn't make too much sense. So we will be adding two additional legs after this. And then, like I said, I'll show you guys how uh, you might want to go about uh, making the house inside. Although there's not too much to tell you other than, like, all you have to do to have, like, the living space, the house inside, is uh, just to kind of, like, clean it up a little bit using, like, wooden stuff or whatever you want the inside of your t uh, inside the house to look like. Um, there's really not much more to say about it than that, but, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys anyway. So, um, that's filled in with red concrete now, which means we have to add legs on this thing. Uh, the legs are on the same place on the back as they are on the front. So, that's basically, like, one row inwards on this bottom row. So, like, one row inwards here, and we're just going to have three concrete. And we'll have the same on the opposite side coming from here. So, it's the same position as the legs are on the front. All nice and balanced. If we come inside the TV here, and we come inside the house, you'll now see that we have some living space. So I'm just going to destroy these blocks that we have here. And the way that you would clean this up, turn it into like a nice respectable house, is obviously, first of all, you would get rid of any grass inside of your house. So you'd like replace that with oak wood planks. Uh, you would then cover up any of the cartoony parts of this. So, like, you'd obviously, like, cover up all of this portion of the house. That block doesn't need to exist either. There we go. Like this. So, like, you would then, like, just cover up all of this space like this. You just um, turn it into, like, a nice big empty shape. So, like, maybe you'd extend it this way and you'd extend it this way. You'd cover up all of these imperfections. You'd obviously, like, make... You could even have, like, literally, like, a two-story house inside of the back of this television, which would be kind of cool as well. So, like, you know, you just, you'd create a shape for the house like this. You'd fill in the walls. You could even have, like, an additional level just up above, if that made sense. So, you can just, like, have an additional level. You can have, like, quite a large house uh, in the back of your TV. But, um, I'm not gonna make it because I... You know, you guys will do with the inside what you want to. Um, you might even not be bothered. Um, you might just want to have this cool little scene inside here. And, of course, if you want to make this a bit more lifelike, you'll spawn yourselves in some, like, pigs, maybe some chickens. I like um, rabbits, too. And where are the villagers? I can never find these guys. Where are you? What does the egg look like? I'm, I'm literally going to have to go through all of these, aren't I? It seems kind of cruel to trap villagers in here. Ah, there we go. So, like, if you want to, like, spruce it up a bit, like, maybe spawn a pig, chicken, rabbit, and maybe a villager or something. I've got the same color villager as I did in the original. And all you have to do is you just have to come out here, of course. And uh, if you want to make it a little bit more secure, then uh, just chuck yourself, like, a wooden trap. Well, not there, but a wooden trap door um, just to kind of, like, keep things in and out. You could even make it mechanical if you wanted to. And that is your TV house, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I'm hoping that you guys have enjoyed this one because it's quite a fun one to make, quite a fun one to design, and you can of course mess about with it until your heart is content. I think the villager wants to get out, and I cannot blame him. Look at him, he's trying to get out, but he's, you know, that's 
So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you hit that like button, the pig and the villager might not escape from the TV. Uh, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Very, very important indeed. I'm sure you guys agree. And if you do want to uh, see some more stuff by me, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. But if you do want to make some more like wacky builds, like you might be able to see in the background, you might be able to see all sorts of stuff that you're not even sure what you're looking at, check out the card system in the description below. Everything will be illuminated as you go through those playlists. I'm sure that you guys would enjoy that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.